Hello guys, this is Foxcode from sc2-tournament.com and today I'm going to be going over a very basic build. It's pretty much Protoss 101 and that is the Foregate. Now, the Foregate is not as strong as it used to be because the research time for Warp Gate tech was nerfed an awful long time ago, but it's still a very potent build and it's still seen a lot in PvP, especially on maps without a natural ramp where you can't force field. So this tutorial is mainly aimed at, say, bronze to silver players, but if you've not done Foregate in a long time you want to brush up, that's cool. So I'm just going to be doing this against the AI. It doesn't really matter. Ah, let's get into the game. Now, Foregate is... I don't know, some people call it cheese. I wouldn't say it's cheese, but it is very all-in. As if it fails completely, you will probably be very far behind your opponent. Okay, the screen went black, but it came back. That was interesting. Anyway, uh, the first thing you want to do, of course, set your workers to mine and build your first probe. We say good luck, have fun, with a little heart. Uh, and we're just going to start building probes. Now, as with pretty much every Protoss build, we're going to build our pylon at 9. So we're just going to get that going. It's actually very hard for me not to spam. I'm so used to spamming. And I'm not setting any of my normal map hotkeys up at the moment. But anyway, so we get to 9. And let's just... We're going to pull off a probe. That one. That was last. We'll switch the next probe to be that pot. And we're just going to build our pylon. Doesn't really matter where. We'll just place it down there. And we'll bring that back. Oh, one trick you can do, if you've got a situation like that, you can click on a probe and then keep right-clicking until it does mine from it, so you double up your probes like that. You see on that mineral patch now? And now, as soon as that pylon is complete, we chrono boost our nexus. So we should be on 11 supply now. And we queue up another probe. But we're going to build a gateway now on 12, so let's rally this probe over there. And he's just going to sit around, and we're going to build a gateway. Woohoo! Gateway going down. We send them back to mine. Now, we need to build another probe. And then chrono that as well. So, two chrono boosts get used on the Nexus. That is it in a full gate. And we're going to rally this probe to this gas geyser because we build our gas on 14 with a full gate. There we go. And remember the doubling up thing? I'll, sh I'll do it intentionally, but we build another probe. There we go. And on 16 supply, we will be building our next pylon. Now, I know you've got Chrono Boost by now, but do not use it. We've used two. That is what you use. So we're just rallying a probe out to build that pylon. And now we instantly put three on gas the second the assimilator is complete. So queue up another probe once you get to 16. So we've got two queued. Now we'll pull one off the mineral line to build this cyber core. Cool, cool. And now we're going to build a zealot. So cool. I know there's a few variations of this. They differ slightly. This is the way I do it. And then as soon as that zealot is built, one more probe. Now we want 20 probes in total. This will read 22 because we're going to build two stalkers and the idea is to get our full 26 supply. So the zealot is two. Two stalkers, that's four. And we've already started the zealot, so we want one more probe after this one. Gotta get this right. It's critical. You'll see what I mean. And this should finish at approximately the same time. So we start Warp Gate and Chrono it and build our Stalker. And notice we're at 24 of 26. No more probes after this one because we need the supply for our next Stalker. So let's just move our Zealot out a bit forward. Now the next stage will be building a lot more gateways. Now ideally you build your gateways about when this is halfway done. Warp Gate's halfway researched. That's cool. Which is usually around 4.30ish. Sometimes a bit earlier. It depends how good you are at the build. And notice we are stacking a lot of minerals, and since we've got those minerals now, we are going to go one, two, three, and we instantly want to chrono the warp gate again and start our second stalker. Now, we can move out. We have our zealot and stalker, and we want to send a probe out, and our probe is just going to build a proxy pylon. This is kind of the, yeah, this is the proxy pylon. You will be building another pylon, which will be a lot closer to your opponent's base. Don't want to miss those chronos, I missed that one a little bit, which is a bit bad. Remember, we're still not building probes. We're just getting all our gateways up and chronoing this one more time. But we also want to send our Stalker at the front lines as well. There we go. Stalker go. Get ready to chrono this. And we're just going to make sure everyone's moving to the front. And now we're actually going to try and sneak our probe in to build a much closer pylon. Now look, the gateways and warp gate finishing up at almost exactly the same time. You turn all four gateways to warp gates. Get that pylon going. 
then you should see I'm pressing W. W's the hotkey for warp gates. All warp gates selected just as that pylon finishes up okay. Normally I would get three stalkers and a zealot, but I just had enough gas for stalkers. I must have got the timing slightly wrong. But at this point, you literally just attack. It's very cool. We'll just go up the ramp. Oh, I'm going to focus down those marauders because I've got a lot of stalkers. And stalkers are quite weak to marauders. Uh... Oh, ideal, and we've not lost any units, and of course you keep warping in. Let's warp in some zealots, send them straight to the mineral line. Let's try and focus down these SCVs to keep that weakened zealot alive. Oh, a marauder pops out. Best kill that. And then you just basically troll. <laughs> Obviously this is a lot harder against human players, but against bronze and silver players this is actually amazingly effective. And it can even work in the higher leagues too, so GG. That is the basic 4-gate build. I will post the build order in the description doesn't have to be exact but the attack if you if the attack's hitting later than six minutes you know you've probably done it wrong so you just keep practicing it until you can do that and it's a very powerful aggressive strategy and i hope it works out for you guys see you later